Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the most requested video of all time. Yeah, really? How, what? Yeah, everybody always wants to know about fabric <laughs> and everybody always wants to know about keywords and we are bringing it to you today in the yes. form of like 50 pairs of black pants. It's a little bit less than 50, but... It feels like 50. Pretty, yeah, I know. It really does. Hi. Hey. If you're new here, welcome. welcome. Today's going to be an interesting video, one you're going to want to bookmark, because you're going to come back to it, I think. I think so, too. We're going to show you how we get top dollar for women's basic clothing. Upper tier basic clothing, but basic black pants. Yeah. So we're going to go over some of the ins and outs of selling basics, and you're going to learn a ton about fabric, a ton about keywords, and a ton about sell-through rate. Man, this one's jam-packed. And we've got some resources for you at the end of the video. We're also giving away a Java sock at the end of this oh, video. What? Yes. And so stay tuned. We're going to bury somewhere in here the emoji that you should put in for tomorrow's video for the chance to win a Java sock, which is this nice thing that my coffee is in. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm-hmm. We've had some pretty great success sending these out. <laughs> yes. Okay, so okay. we came into some black pants. It's going to be me talking a lot. A lot Sorry, of, in advance. A lot of black pants. Uh, in our reselling journey, mm -hmm. we've been reselling for about four years. Yep. Last year, we started selling black pants. Before that, we did not sell black pants. And yep. what I'm talking about is women's career pants that you would probably pass over at the thrift store. We know, sell, yeah, we did. Yeah, I gotta sit down. I'm real stressed today, so just, just bear with me, okay? <laughs> oh, I need, can I have some more room here? Can we make some more room here? Eee. No, we have no more room. Okay, here's the here's what you want to know. Dan's gonna be the show of the show and tell. How, how's that? It's a little better. Okay. We have currently, and we're gonna talk about sell through rate. <laughs> I know. Don't come at me. Don't do it. Don't. It's, do it. It's just math, y'all. We can do this together. Right now, we have 35 pairs of black pants listed. Okay? Okay. We have sold 64 pairs of black pants in the last two years. Okay. Okay? So, all in all, we had 99 pairs of black pants. And black pants, I'm talking about women's black pants. I filtered it out. 99 pairs have been in our inventory. Right. And of those 99 pairs... Yep. 64 I've sold. That's great. 64 over 99 gives us a 65% sell-through rate. Your sell-through rate cannot go over 100% because 100% is everything. That's all you got. You right. can't sell more than what you got. Just, okay? You just got to think about it. 65% <laughs> of the pie. And we still got 35 pairs left over. Yep. All right? That's the remaining. 35%, 34%. Yep. All right. Now... Of those pants, mm -hmm. we started dabbling in Lafayette 148. Yeah, which is a brand that YouTube says is a no go. Really? Do they? I'm gonna tell you, it's a yes, please. <laughs> I pick it up every single time now, and I'm gonna tell you why. And then, as you wait, you're gonna see how we get top dollar. Yes. We have had five pairs of Lafayette 148 black pants. I'm only talking about black pants because they are the most basic staple of a woman's wardrobe, especially in career wear. Yep. Yeah. Of those, four have sold. Out of how many? Five. Okay. So four mm -hmm. over five. Four of the five that we had available have sold. Right. And that gives us... The magical 80% love it sell through rate, which is fantastic. But the better part here is that our average sale price, excluding shipping, so our average, like what the pants sold for, yeah, $49.96. Oh, that's awesome. Who doesn't want a $50 sale, right? Right, okay. Currently on eBay, there are 3,300 listed Lafayette 148 black pants, okay, 3,300 listed. Got it. Okay. 536 of those have sold. So you're like, eh, it's not that great, right? Because that's 536 over 3,836, which is the two numbers combined. So it's only a 14% sell-through rate. Eee. And I'm telling you to go buy them. But if it was a 14% sell-through rate of anything else, I'd be like, eee, just like Dan was. <laughs> like, you probably should think twice about that because there's a 14% chance that it will sell. Right. Like, <clears throat> okay. Okay? However... This is what I want to show you. 
This right. is important. All right, can, can we come on in with it? These Oops. are the two listings of the exact same pants. They are sold listings. I, yeah, get in there. The first one sold for $75. These are the Gramercy pants. They are pre-owned. The exact same pants below are new with tags. I looked at the photos and those are the Gramercy pants. The exact same pants sold on an auction for $10.50. $10? What? Okay. What? We, are you listening now? So what I'm going to teach you today is how to get the $75 price and not the $10.50 price. I like it. We're gonna, we're just gonna learn. We're gonna learn everything. I'm gonna do the same thing. One more example with Eileen Fisher uh -huh. is our girl. Currently on eBay, there are 6,700 plus results. Dang, that's for a lot. Listed. 2,400 have sold. Okay. So that gives us the magic 2,400 over 9,100. That gives us a 26% sell through rate. That's better. So going to the thrift store, you would think, well, Eileen Fisher's a better pickup and it probably is. Yeah. However, in our experience, <laughs> we have we have brought into our house in the last two years 29 pairs of black eileen fisher pants of those 29 pairs and it feels like way more i know <laughs> because we sell other colors as well yeah, yeah of those 29 pairs 26 have sold that's awesome so we have 26 over 29 which gives us a magical 90 percent sell-through rate of our own merchandise Okay, so eBay's telling us it's got a 26% chance of selling. And we're saying, okay, eBay, I'm going to take those odds. And we have churned out 90% sell through. Yeah. Okay? Can you show them the pictures? I absolutely can. These are the same pants same, listed on eBay. Same pants. Not just listed on eBay, sold on eBay. Sold on eBay. The first pair sold for $84. These are the washable stretch crepe pant slim fit ankle length. And they're a size large, which some people would consider a better size. Sure. They sold at $84. The same pair of pants, also pre-owned, just says Actually. Eileen Fisher pull on stretch pants. Stretch pants mm -hmm. sold for $7.98. I went through the pictures. They are the exact same pants. Yikes. They're a smaller size, but just because it said stretch pants and didn't have the name of the pant, <clears throat> right? It didn't command the seventy-four dollar or the eighty-four dollar price. Wow! So we're gonna talk about this. I've made you a resource guide for um, hey, Lafayette one forty-eight. Look at that! This is a guide that has all of the styles that I could find on the internet. This will be linked below on a Google Drive. And I am going to imminently make one for Eileen Fisher. These are the different style pants that uh, that Lafayette 148 makes. Man. Because if you know what the style is that you're listing, you can get more money for it. That's handy. Look at now, that. Now, it's very long. Now, the second part of this video that we're about to start right now is we're gonna, we came into a, a very large lot. We sure did. Of women's black pants. Yep, so we're going to go through all them. all hanging right here. We're going to go through them with what fabric they are, how you can use keywords to describe them, what brands, and what we think they should be going for. Wow. Okay. There's a lot. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Dan's going to get in there with the camera. I'm just going <laughs> to be blabbing over here. All right. These are Eileen Fisher. These are this tag. So this, what is this, like cream color tag? Yeah. Come on. Help me out here. It is a little bit older. It is. There you go. Still worth picking up, in my opinion. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, right. can you tell them a little bit about where the Eileen Fisher tags normally reside in black pants? So, yeah, they, some of them are like right down here on the inside, so b below the pocket. Other times they're way down here in the leg. All so. right. I don't know these particular pants, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you some things. This one's up here in the hip. Yeah, I'm going to tell you some things that I would list about these pants. The, oh, they have two different panels and they're different the front panel and the back panel has different ingredient, uh, ingredients. Ingredients. <laughs> ha. Uh, fabric, it's what organic cotton, polyester and spandex in the front, lyocell nylon spandex in the back. Okay. So, Lyocell is a man-made fiber. We have a lot of videos from last February if you want to learn about fabric. I'm going to attempt to give you the rundown here. Do the it. reason that the back of these, these are called darts. I'm hoping that you can see these. 
um, and that gives your booty a little bit of shape. The reason that the back of this is lyocell and the front is cotton is because lyocell has more stretch and give to it mm -hmm. and it will form yeah, fit to the body a little bit better. Bring in the, uh, the darts. This is one. Okay. This waistband is sitting on top of the pant and it is a different material. It is an elastic, very, very stretchy waistband. It is top stitched on. Anytime you can see the stitching, something smacked on top of something, that's called a top stitch. So that's something you could include in your description. Some people are looking for that. There's another form of Eileen Fisher where the pant waist is rolled in and some people do not like that because it's not as secure on your body and it can roll forward. If you have a little bit of a tummy, it can bloop, roll forward while you're at work. This will not do that. This is top stitched on and it will hug to your body much better. So it's something to include in your description. It's a very good thing. Okay, come forward with these. This is a, this is a, a single panel right here and then there's a seam right here. So that's what I would look up. I would say like paneled stretch pants in my Google search to try to figure out what style these are. This is a straight leg. You see how there, it just... you can see the seam real nice right there. Yeah. And this is a straight leg. It's very stretchy. Um, this is a four-way stretch. We're going to talk a lot about that. This is not a ponty knit, and I'm going to try to explain the difference because I know... I wish you had, like, feel-a-vision. <laughs> and you could just feel it. Yeah. A four-way stretch means you can stretch it this way and this way. So most leggings are a four-way stretch. These look like... Ex Okay, they're not exactly the same. The waistband looks the same. Right. But these are... Okay, these are wax-coated. That's yep. a keyword that I would use anytime it... It's like a denim material and it has that shiny finish. Yeah, kind of... Mm -hmm. These now, are also Eileen Fisher, the same um, older tag. Eileen Fisher does have a style number, but I would say 90% of the time it doesn't bring up anything for me. I don't know why. Yeah, I just weird. wanted to mention that. These are also... a a tacked on waistband. Mm -hmm. Organic cotton, polyester, and lycra. If it is organic cotton, I will note that almost every single time in the description because that matters to some people and they will buy yours over another that's not organic. Yeah. So I would put that in the description and maybe even in the title. Squeeze it in there. Get it in there. Come on. So these are all that we've shown you so far pull on pants because they don't have any clasp, no button, no zipper, no nothing like that. So you would call them a pull on style. I typically do not use pull dash on in my titles because I think that punctuation messes up SEO. I don't have proof of that. I just feel like that. <laughs> so I just put P-U-L-L -L space O-N. Yeah. It still comes up when you search it. I've tried both. All right. These are from Joseph Ripkoff. New with tags. This is a brand that we love to pick up. Some people swear by this brand. Yep. I always thought it was kind of dated, but in these basics, this these will sell very quickly. Yep. Um, okay, let's talk about material here. Joseph Ribkoff uses a material that feels like a bathing suit. It's a spandex blend that doesn't wrinkle. It's fantastic. <laughs> if you ever know those Mac Studio dresses at TJ Maxx, like they just don't wrinkle and you can travel with them, that's what Joseph Ribkoff does as well. It feels um, a little bit like a scuba material, if you've ever heard of that. Yeah. The back of these have a split hem, a split cuff. So this is a really modern look. When you're walking, You your pants don't get bunched up. They fall over your shoes. And some people really enjoy that because you, your pants can be a little bit longer and it elongates your legs. So uh, do these have pockets? Nope. Nope. I would say these are like a beta brand. These are the original work <laughs> yoga pants because these came out way before beta brand. Yeah. Um, the I don't know. Do they have the retail price on there? I know they were. It was on like one hundred and forty-eight or something. Yeah. On the tag, I think. The most expensive stuff you're going to see from us today is going to be the Lafayette one forty-eight stuff. Yeah. It's way more expensive than even Eileen Fisher in the basics. All right. Here's uh, speaking of this is Lafayette one forty-eight. There you go. Okay, so these pants, if I were going to look them up and try to figure out what the style was, I would feel them, and they are 100% a ponty knit. A ponty knit is a four-way stretch, but it is thick. It's four-way stretch on both sides. It is, it's heavy. Yeah. It's substantial. Um, these are a jersey, they're a ponty knit, but you could also call them a jersey knit in the fact that they're, it's very, very soft and it feels like a t-shirt. These are, you could wear these to work, but they're much more casual. Yeah. Okay. We got viscose, polyamide, and elastane. 
Okay, and it has what's called a faux fly right here, if you want to show. Faux fly. Faux fly, and I can tell you what style these are because I just made this guide today. There you go. And right here, let's see where I have it. I, I, I remember typing in faux fly. Yeah, we have no pockets or anything here. Right, do they have darts in the back? No? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. One, yes, yes. Two darts, darts. I hope this guide is helpful for you guys because you saw how much more it went for. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when I'm on my computer, what I do is I hit control F and then I just type in like faux fly, whatever I'm looking for, and it'll take me to where it is in the document. So you won't have to like search through it like I'm doing right now. Yeah. Smart. Very smart. And those are a pull-on pant, right? There was no... Are, yeah, there's no button or zipper or button, anything. I said button. So place. I could also look up pull-on pant, that kind of thing. To find it. I'm not going to be able to find it right now. <laughs> I'm too stressy. I'm trying to, like, breathe through it. I'm just trying to keep going here at a good... At a good clip. Pace. Oh! So good. This is beautiful! <laughs> what is that, velvet? Okay. It is. St. John Collection. Cotton and spandex. So, 99 one. somebody's going to ask, what's the differ difference between velvet and velour? Yeah, I'm going to ask, what's the difference between uh, velvet and velour? There's not really a difference anymore. What? There used to be a difference in that velvet was made out of silk. I have to stand up. Oh, stretch it out. Stretch okay. It. This is a pull-on pant. There you go. But it has a five-pocket design, and I would put that in my title. Absolutely. absolutely. They are not right. a pull-on pant. <laughs> Okay, let's show them. So this is a hook and bar closure, and you can put that in your description. It does not need to go in the title. Nobody cares. There's the, the bar. There's, there you go. There's the hook. And But and the five pocket button. construction means it's it's shaped like a pair of jeans. Yeah. Like it has the pockets here. It's got the little coin. Hold on. One, two. This little coin pocket is your third pocket. And then the two. Ah, uh, faked out. On the back. <laughs> I would put five pocket construction uh, like that. You know what I mean? In the description. Yeah. Because the front totally looks like a pair of jeans. It does. Um, I would call these, I would also put pants and trousers. Okay. I would put, I would probably call these velvet. We typically associate velour with things like track suits and more casual garments. So I would call these velvet, even though they're not made with silk, they're made with cotton. Yeah. Totally fine. It's interchangeable now. It does have a side split hem. Okay which is also very desirable. And what I would do is take a picture with like your hand or something else here and get a close up of that split so that they can see it because it, their odds are you're not gonna find a stock photo for a lot of these things. A lot of these pieces are older and the stock photos just aren't there. Yeah. So you have to work a little harder to show all the details. Um, these are full length and they're wide leg. You always wanna put whether they're full length, ankle length, cropped. Yeah. Uh, and then the leg, whether it's tapered, wide leg, skinny, these are definitely a wide leg. Uh, these are, these pants are great. These yeah. should sell very, very quickly. Also, also, when you're taking photos of black clothing, you have to have side light, especially of velour or velvet. Oh, hot tip right there. It's hot to catch the light so that you can see the texture on the fabric or you're going to get a big black blob every single time. Yep. So take a light source, whether it's a window or a lamp and put it to the side facing your garment and i'm telling you you will get that texture coming through all right this is a newer eileen fisher tag but not the not the current one right yeah, yeah. these are the coveted and i mean coveted mm -hmm. um crepe it's called washable crepe and then they have whatever it is yeah stretch S stretch crepe it can be an ankle pant it can be a wide leg pant they have all different kinds Eileen Fisher started what's called the system, and this is a piece of the system. And the system has the black tags, and you can... Yeah, see, so these have the fabric tag way down here in the leg. Yeah. So the system is another term for a capsule wardrobe, meaning all the pieces interchange with one another. So I always put the system in my title because some people are searching for that because yep. they only have 12 pieces of clothes or 20 pieces of clothing and they want it to all go together. Yeah, and we do have one. There's actually a new with tags piece coming up that's part of the system and it has the tag on there. Oh, we'll show you. Great. Yeah. What is the material in these? Uh, viscose, nylon, and spandex. Okay, so these are just the stretch crepe ankle pants. And yep. I just know this because we've listed so many of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do have a washable silk stretch crepe 
ankle pant. And that one goes for more, obviously, because it's silk. Because of the silk. All right. silk is washable, y'all. Yeah. But that's what the actual name is, washable silk. So those are pull-on pants again. That's our number one seller from Eileen Fisher. I know it's basic. I list every I single... Do you want back? No, it's okay. I list every single pair at $59.95 if they're pre-owned. And forever and ever, I will not take less than $40 for those pants. <laughs> and we don't... As I told you, our average sale price is $49. Yeah. So okay. this is your Eileen Fisher also. These are very similar, but these are thinner. Yeah. A lot thinner. They're these are leggings. Different fabric. Yep. You see how thin the waistband is? These are leggings that you would wear under like a tunic or a dress. You wouldn't wear... Th these are so thin that I don't think that you would wear these on their own, like as pants. I think these are a layering piece and I would probably put that. This is 100% jersey knit. This is... It feels just like a t-shirt. It's yeah. thin like a t-shirt. I mean, if you use this fabric, you could make a t-shirt. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know it's a jersey knit because if you cut it, the hem will roll. Ah. We're not going to cut these. No. But if you did, it would roll up on itself. It It's self-stopping. It doesn't fray. And that's a jersey knit. I'm going to call these... Even I don't know the style for these. Mm -hmm. they're, they're leggings. And yeah, I would... Rayon and spandex. That's another hot tip. Uh-oh. Hot tip! If you're looking for the actual style name, which I advocate you do, um, type in the fabric content exactly. So be like Eileen Fisher, black leggings, and then whatever the content is, exactly in your Google search. And that will narrow it down to only the black leggings that have that fabric. And then you can narrow your search and try to find one that looks like yours. Yeah, that helps for sure. Oh, these are cool. These feel like linen. These are Eileen Fisher. We snuck in a navy. Uh oh, don't tell anybody. What do you know about the age of that tag? It's between the... In between the yeah, two? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know without even looking, these are linen pants. Yeah. They're 100% linen, whether they're organic or Irish linen, I'm sure Dan will tell you. Tag is in the leg. Uh, come on. And come people on. look for the tag, so definitely take a photo of it in your listings. Organic linen. Okay. Again, important to include the organic part. Yep. So these have a cuff hem. And so what we do whenever we list something like this, we'll put the inseam and then we'll measure this hem and say whatever this width is with one and a half inches or two inches to let out. In case someone needed like an extra long length, mm -hmm. they can get a cuff pair of pants and have the tailor let this out because yep. it's extra fabric there. So that's a good way to get something sold as well. These are by pocket construction. Yes. So they look like jeans. That's what that means again. Um, now, here's the hot tip that for photos that someone gave us, yes. a viewer, actually was great, during a live list. So when you're taking a picture of these flat lay, see how the butt is, like, not cute? Mm -hmm. What do you do, Tom? Oh, on the hanger, you release the front of the pants. So you just clip on the, on the back like that. If you're doing flat lay, and then the butt, like, works itself out. Yeah, it does. It, it looks out. a lot better. So just release the front... And then the butt hang, yeah. Well, it which, looks terrible now. Well, when you have lay, it on yeah. a flat lay, it smooths <laughs> out and you don't have that big, like, mountain right. back there. <laughs> Linen pants also go for more, no matter what the brand is. So I, if I price regular pull-on pants at $59.95 and then I have silk pants, I'll price those at $69.95. And if I have linen pants, I'll probably put prices at $79.95. That's just from experience. Linen always goes for more. Same with cashmere. Even more than silk? Hmm, yeah. Okay. All right. More pull-on pants. More pull-on pants. Eileen Fisher. This looks like the new this Est. Is. This new is. New Est tag. Current. Yep. And these are a lounge pant. Okay. So they have a seam down the front, and that is something that's very desirable for people. Let me get that in there so you can see that. There you go. There's a yeah. seam down the front of the leg. Yep. That makes your legs look really long. And they also have a split hem right here, but it's a shorter split hem, which is ma what makes me think these are like lounge pants. These are like pajama pants. Okay. Yeah, um, I can see that. I think these came out more recently, like in 2020, when that athleisure was hitting where everyone was kind of like skirting the line between wearing lounge pants and real clothes. <laughs> I'm still skirting that line. <laughs> Who doesn't want to skirt that line? Um, so I would look this up on Google. I would, I would definitely look up wide waistband, um, black lounge pants, I mean Fisher, and use Google Lens to take a picture of that tag. It might come up. 
and the style number might work. The newer stuff, the style number kind of works sometimes. Sometimes. So I would start there and put the style number in quotes when you're searching. And maybe you can come up with the actual item. If you can come up with the name, it's probably like Eileen Fisher, the system, viscose lounge pants or something like that. Organic cotton and spandex in this case. Organic cotton and spandex lounge pants. <laughs> you know, something like that. Her titles aren't very creative. Like in, It's just like what the garment is. Yeah, in yeah. Laf Lafayette 148, <laughs> it's like the Gramercy, the Dalton, the Clinton. She's like stretch slim ankle pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, girl, I got you. I feel you. I need more Let go. Come on. All right, Eileen Fisher, with your coated jeans. These are coated, five pocket construction. Uh, I would look these up and see if they are what they are. Some people care about synthetic fiber. And I believe that these are probably coated in something synthetic, like a poly mm -hmm. acrylic or something. Let's see if it's on the tag. What you say, tag? Organic cotton polyester elastane. Some people do not like polyester in their clothes, especially when you're at the Eileen Fisher tier of shopping. Yes. So much of it is organic. So I definitely would include it just to make sure you don't get a return. Yeah, you gotta list everything in there. This is a straight leg. And also I would probably call this a moto style since it looks a little bit leathery. Okay, yeah, I totally. Think, I think you could get by with edgy as a keyword, moto, yeah. those type of things. Nice. Those are cute. Okay, what's, is this Eileen Fisher? These are our favorite oh, stretch crepe ankle pants. Crepe, they can you can feel it. They got some some. So texture. that's what I was gonna say. If you could get in close and we could show them what a crepe looks like. Mm, maybe. There it is. I mean, it looks really linty. It's it not does. linty that linty in real life. <laughs> but do you see how it's woven? Woven means that. It's been done on a loom and it's crosses. Everything's at 90 degree angles. It's not a knit, which is weird because it's a stretch. Eileen Fisher, she's got it. She's got it going on. And no, this isn't it. Is it? Yeah, knits okay. have loops. It's just how it, how it was how it was so close. This isn't it. These are definitely knit. And knit means it was knitted <laughs> with like knitting needles. Is that helpful? Do people know what knitting needles are versus a loom? Uh, maybe. Hopefully. Look it up. Anyway, so these are the stretch angle pants. What are they made of? This is what you have to look up on Eileen Fisher pants. Sometimes they're made of silk, and you won't know it because it doesn't feel... Up here, so it's got to be down here. And these, all of these stretch angle pants are part of the system. Viscose nylon spandex. Same as the other ones. These are the exact same pants. They're called ankle pants if the inseam is between 28 and 29. Yeah. That's about an ankle length on a regular pair of pants, not a petite pair or a tall pair. All right, this is another pair of Joseph Ripkoff. Look at these stunners. Tag. These, come on all the way up with them. These yeah, have a gorgeous flare leg. And oh. flare is so in right now. So when, the, when they bell out at the bottom here, this is this is stunning. I bet you these are inseamed or like 33 or 34. Yeah, they're very long. Very long, which is great for a flare leg because the flare falls over your shoe. And so some people really like to wear it so it's almost skirting the ground. Mm -hmm. That kind of a look. Chivroy and what's it called? She wears her pants like that. Yeah, these, succession. In succession. <laughs> these are a uh, pull-on pant. They have a crease going down the middle. This is not a seam, but this is a pressed-in crease that is done in a chemical process. This crease will remain there forever. Even if you wash them, this crease will be there. Mm -hmm. So some people really like that because it makes your pants, even though these are in like a stretchy pant, it makes it look tailored. It makes it look like you took it to the dry cleaner and they pressed <laughs> it in their little machine. Right. So I would definitely include that it has a pressed crease. Okay. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. Those are gonna be good. Those are gonna be good. All right. Who ever thought we would be selling black pants on the internet? Not me, that's for sure. These are exclusively Masook. Another brand we love to sell. Come if you on, can tag. find, it's just Masook in general. I don't know what makes one exclusive or not. These are acrylic, acrylic pants. Acrylic is These a. Look like, look like a sweater. It does. <laughs> Acrylic's a man made fabric. This is a double, oh, is a double knit. Okay. So. That means it's knit on the front and it's sewed together with another knit on the back. So it's thicker. Look. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. And it has a split cuff here. Pull on design. These are darts right here, which is noise. And they're a high rise. You want to put the rise. I keep forgetting to talk about that. Yeah. So look how big this rise is. I mean, it's bigger than Dan's head. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of uh, women, most of our target demographic is about mature women. So probably 40 to forever. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And um, a high rise is much flattering on the figure. So definitely note it if it's a high rise pant, particularly a pull on pant. You want to get that thing real high. Nice. God, these feel like me and for the list. St. John Caviar, all oh, with a new tag. $395. Man. All right. So you want to tell them about Caviar? Caviar is the shade of black from St. John. They they wanted to make a, a, the most black. Black is the all black. <laughs> and so they came out with this Caviar line. It's not a nicer line. It's a different color line. And I think there's a lot of misinformation rolling around about that. Yep. Okay. St. John is known for Santana knit. What's the fabric content on these? I'm, I, they might be a Santana knit. Really? Santana knit is not the texture. It's the material. And I think it's 70, 30 or something. All right. Oh, Sometimes also, they put them down in the leg too. I wanted to show them the hanger marks. If you have hangers like this and they leave marks, the steamer gets them out. Oh, look at that. Ooh, this yeah, is... I mean, yeah, it's got the... Well, do the hot on. tip. Show them the hot tip. These are new without tags. We know no, it. No, with tag. It's got oh, a, they're new with tag. But yeah. if you find this... Wool, rayon, spandex. They are not a Santana Not knit. a Santana knit. But show them that. Yeah, it's got like the quality control sticker, sticker. Come on. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it like rolled up on itself. So if it has the sticker in it, you know it's never seen a washing machine. There you go. Or a dry cleaner for that matter. Yeah. So but that sticker was like crispy crunchy, yeah, so we know it's, it's brand it. new. I'm just saying, if you found that on a pair of pants like at the thrift store, yeah. you know that those pants are gonna be good. They're not gonna have a lot of damage. Right. They pretty have safe been bet. Yeah, it's a pretty safe bet. That's a good Cool, way to say these that. are nice. They're very, very nice. Side zip here. Yeah, you wanna note where the zipper is mm. because a side zip is much more flattering than a front zip, and it's more comfortable when you're sitting down. Sometimes people's zippers dig into the belly button area. The front zip, a lot of people are not into it, yeah. and it's a more feminine silhouette. It's got a split in the back. Split ankle in the back. We would call this a split hem, and this makes it look more modern as well. So I think these pants should do really, really well. Yeah. I would call these a double knit again. They're very. You will know it's a double knit. It's very, very thick. Yeah, you can feel it for sure. And um, I would call these a double knit, but I would not call them a Santana knit. Don't do it. All right, what else we got up here? What is this? Oh, these are from a brand called Acris Punto. Um, it's just Acris, but Acris Punto is like a yeah um, subline. There you go. These are really, really, really nice. You would not think twice about these pants if you felt them. 100% wool. They feel like yeah. suit pants. Yeah, they do. They feel like men's suit pants. They are fully lined. Look at this, you guys. Woo! This is, a, this is a big deal in women's wear. So these are men's wear inspired women's pants. And we, as women, don't get enough of this, okay? Normally <laughs> we're rushing around in pants that are just not this nice. Uh, the wool of this pant is incredibly thin. I'd love to show you. This is the marker... Of a, see, you can see my face through it. Mm -hmm. This is the marker of quality. The thinner you can get the wool, the higher the quality is because the, the yarn is so fine. These are a weave. You can tell because it's been, it's like over, under, over, under. They have no stretch to them at all. Mm -hmm. They have a wide waistband, which I would note. Side zip here. Yep. Side zip. What else is going on? They're a wide leg. They're a high rise. And we've got some really beautiful draping going on in the back. These are going to make your legs look a mile long. Yeah. If you wear some little pointy toe heels and you're just <laughs> little pointies peek out, your <laughs> legs are going to go on for days. So this would be the thing where I would probably, and don't do what I do because I said it. What'd you do? Make your own decision. I would definitely look for a stock photo. Because yeah. you want that long leg line. If you hang these up on that, there's nothing to distinguish these from any other black pants. Right. 
So you could either model them if you were not 4'9 like I am. <laughs> that would not work for me. But some way to get a form in those. Maybe you have a mannequin. If not, just use all the descriptive words you can find. These are expensive. You're not kidding. Lafayette $148, $378 retail price. It's having a moment, y'all. Everyone on on the these internet. Are textured kind of. Okay, I'm going to tell you about these. I'm going to tell you all about them. Tell us all about them. Here's the tag oh, yeah. for everybody. Okay. Okay. This is a crinkle fabric. And when people love a crinkle fabric, they love it. <laughs> This means that, again, you don't really have to worry about wrinkles because it's already pre-wrinkled. Yep. This is done in a chemical process. When you wash these pants, I bet you there's a care tag that tells you to twist them up when they dry. I'm looking for a set tag. Yeah. Thank you. These are menswear inspired. In fact, there is a brand, I mean a line from Lafayette 148 called the menswear, and I think that's I these. think this is part of it. It, says on the, it is. You see, look, the, I knew the, it. So the, here's on this tag. That's exactly right. Look here. Menswear, high contour waist, stretch wool, twill weave, front zip, full length, version wool, elastane, 32.5 inseam, and they six hundred and ninety-eight dollars. Dang. I can't see the fabric. I don't can't find the fabric tag or anything. Maybe they gotta take it out. You'll know it's a crinkle. It is. It's crinkly. I'm trying not to make those fabric noises to yeah, I know, me annoy either. people. <laughs> but um, everything I just read off of that is something you can use in your description. And hopefully if you find Lafayette 148, now you know that the retail is insane. Is that doesn't insane. equal resale value. No. But I'm telling y'all, Lafayette 148 is having a moment on eBay. And I have not heard anybody else talk about it. What are you... You snuck in a pencil skirt. I think I did. Yeah. I wanted to talk about the material. This is new with tags. Eileen Fisher yeah. pencil skirt. Yeah. It's the Tencel Stretch Ponte. And it's a retail price of $200. So. Come on. I wanted to show you oh. a Ponte knit. Yeah. That's nice. This thing is thick as it comes. It is like super stretchy. Like you could... Wear this as a bathing suit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, be careful when listing your Ponte knit. P-O-N-T-E is how it's spelled. Uh, it weighs more than you think it does. Yeah, and so you got to make sure you're charging adequate shipping. Does that say it's part of the system? Not this one, no. Okay. I still might put it in since it's a basic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be branded as the system to fit into the system. The right. system just means it's a bunch of basics that you can wear. You know, that brown skirt with another top, with a mix and match. Yeah, the system one's coming up after these. This is a pair of St. John. Uh, jeans. Uh, jeans, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to tack this tag back on. If you watched the video a couple days ago, I showed you how to <laughs> sew on a tag. Definitely don't list it like that. Like, you can do this. Mm -hmm. You can sew it on. What okay. These? And these are brown. 95% cotton, 5% elastane. All right, there's a couple of things I want to note about this. I want you okay. to show them the stitching at the top. The that's, accent stitching? That's called a top stitch. Mm -hmm. okay. And if it were in a different color, it would be called a contrast top stitch. Mm -hmm. Since it's the same color here, we just call it a top stitch detail. Okay. These are very straight or wide. They're pretty... I think they're straight. Mm. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> These skirt the line. Yeah. All right. um, this is a seam in these. I do not believe that this is chemically put in here. I can kind of rub it out. So I think when you dry these, it's going to go away. Okay. Uh, these are a stretch denim, which is what I would call this. Yeah. Cotton. Most denim is made out of cotton. And I, so I would call them, did they have back pockets? Nope. So they're not five pocket construction, but I would call them a stretch denim. I would be like St. John, stretch denim, brown jeans, gold hardware. Yeah. Something like that. All right, here comes the piece with the system. Tag. The system. Oh, this is a, like a, what are you, friend? You are viscose jersey maxi skirt. Exactly what it is. <laughs> Get dressed in five minutes with our system pieces. So I would put exactly that, but now... If you start so. selling this stuff, 
There is a slit in the back of this. If there were no slit, I would call it modest, okay. right? But we can't do that. There's the, let's see, it'll focus on the very bright system tag. It's got a clock face on it. Um, this is made out of rayon. You have to be careful with rayon. Careful how? It shrinks like nobody's business. Oh, and really? no one talks about how rayon shrinks in the dryer. Do not. You were like, this feels like a t-shirt. I can put this in the dryer. Mm -hmm. You can. Yes. It will come out a different size. Oh. Yeah. Be very, very careful. I would hang dry every single Eileen Fisher. I think these size tags on these little paper ones work. The F1. The style numbers, one, you mean? Yeah. F1VF-3, mm -hmm. and then it has a style number. I think these work, and I think you can get a stock photo. If you use stock photos, you're not supposed to. Right. I'm just putting it out there. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, F1VF-, I got the full number on this. On the okay, control. cool. Okay. Hey, we're back to Lafayette 148. The I, I just want to say one more thing. The Eileen Fishers that are new with tags yeah. can go for close to retail. Yeah, they really can. I think a lot of people underpriced their Eileen Fisher. It's where we source a lot of it off eBay and Poshmark. I don't care. <laughs> and um, we do that because people underprice it. Yep. These are some jeans, Lafayette 148. Okay. Oh, so these have a little bit of shimmer in them. Mm -hmm. I thought these were a stone wash. These are not. These I would call, they're a little bit metallic. A little bit. So I would call them metallic thread, black dress jeans. Anytime they have a little shimmer shimmer, you can kind of wear them to address the occasion. Mm -mm. Just cut and polyester. Yeah, but they they kind of yeah, yeah. they yeah. sheen. They got a little. I was just seeing. Sometimes they put like metallic. Oh, colors. if it has a metallic thread. Yeah. Five pocket construction belt loops. Let's look at the leg. Always look at the leg. Straight leg. Just straight. <laughs> <laughs> just goes straight. And they have stretch. If they have stretch. Yeah. Always put it in the title. Because people, I mean, we're, it's 2023. We need some stretch. Everybody okay? needs a little bit of room. Woo! Come on. Girl, we need some stretch. It's put it in the title. People don't want crispy jeans. <laughs> I mean, some people do. And put that, too. If they have no stretch, sometimes you need no stretch. So oh. put both. Eileen Fisher. But these are the ones with the waistband that's rolled under, like you were saying. Okay. Sometimes the stitching comes out of these. It's still worth picking them up because yeah. it takes, seriously, you go up down with a piece of black thread tie it off and you're done yep. you can fix these pants if you find them at the thrift and the waistband has become detached like from here from here from the front right like it'll it'll pop that and it's like right just there. a tack stitch right there and right right there yeah okay so these are pull on ponty pants yep these are probably part of the system probably if they're not i'll still put it because it's a black pant i put the system in almost Every single Eileen Fisher. Yep, this goes nylon spandex. Yep. Um, these are not crepe. They don't have any texture nope. to them. It's smooth. soft. Soft and smooth. Soft and smooth. They're a wide leg. Definitely note that. And these look like to be full length, meaning that they're probably 30 to 32 in yep. the inseam. Yep. So you want to put that in your title as well. All right. This is some charcoal gray here. Eileen Fisher those also. Those are the same pants. But in a charcoal gray, yeah. And some people would lot these up. I do not recommend doing that with Eileen Fisher because here's why. Why? You know why. You guys can do this. It's the system. <laughs> so they probably already have a gray or a black pair and they're looking for a different, right, different pair. Right, color. You don't need two. <laughs> no, so they're, they're capsule wardrobing it. They don't need a repeat of what they already have. Speaking of, repeat. <laughs> here's a hot tip. Hot tip! If you get a lot of things or if you're just when you're listing lot them i mean um batch them all together that's the word so then you can sell similar off your own listing over and over listing goes way faster yes because you make one listing and it's great and then you just sell similar okay these look like the same they are not the same but they are not the same these what? are a straight leg and not a wide leg ah yes right so you gotta be really careful with what you're listing these taper you see how they it just goes straight and the wide leg was like Mm -hmm. You know, but when you look at the whole silhouette, you yeah. can see that these aren't quite as wide. These also feel like they have a different fiber in them. They feel a little more um, nylon than than the other ones. You see, you feel what I mean? They I feel, do. Yeah. Like Let's you see. could drop water on these and it would beat up. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Come on, tag. What you got? Rayon nylon and spandex. There you go. <laughs> so these aren't viscose, and you can tell. 
What do we say about rayon? Don't put it in the dryer. <laughs> do not. Um, so these aren't a Ponty knit. They're thick, but do you feel the difference? I, yeah, kind of. What I would do if I were you, and you're traveling or just look up where the Eileen Fisher store, we only have one in Texas, it's in Dallas, but they do sell it at like Neiman's or yeah. at... Um, I've seen it at Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom. Too. Go feel this stuff. Because to be able to write a description without spending all day looking for styles, which is what I'm advocating you do, you just know it. And then you can write your description and your title to be very accurate. And people will buy your pants. Yep. Go feel it. You have to feel it. So I touch those. And I'm like, that's not a Ponty knit. But if you didn't know what Ponty knit is and you're just feeling for thick fabric, you're going to be wrong. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Sometimes you'll be right, right? Yeah. Back to viscose nylon spandex. Yep, and these are a Ponty knit. I know this because I know what it feels like. And I, I told Dan that the fabric was different on the other one. It was almost exactly the same, but it was rayon instead of viscose. You saw him rip that out of my hand. I'm just trying to feel the... See how sorry. different it is? It's, I can't, it's very similar. To me, <laughs> this feels like there's like a coating on the other one, the rayon pants. Yeah. It feels like if you spilled water on it, it would have like rain -X, like the water would beat up. Okay. I mean. Not those, that not would these. absorb water. Okay, I kind of, now. You're okay? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I get it. I see. <laughs> have a little bit of a coating of some sort, which is probably the rayon. All right, friends. More You're still with us? Sure. Okay, these are wide leg. We just had a repeat of these. Yep. These are a ponty knit, wide leg, pull on pant, part of the system, and that's exactly what they're called. You could list these in five minutes once you know what they are. Yeah. Getting, we're, we're getting down to the end. Here. Okay. Right. I appreciate you guys so much. Stay tuned because we definitely are going to pull the winner of the next Java sock. And here is your emoji. I what want to see it? your favorite black emoji below. Oh, I love it. Since it's Black Pants Day, even though black these are pants brown. Day. These are brown. These are new with tags. The viscose stretch ponty. Uh, so now we know yeah. what they're called. Suggested so retail price, $228. But look, we know what they're called. And now we can use it for all of our listings because hey, we had one yeah. that had the tag. There you go. Also, this is what you do when you find a listing. Hot tip. Hot tip. When you find a listing that's like yours on eBay and it's new with tags, the tag, go to the photo because the tag will say what it is, yep. but not always the listing says it because people don't know what they're doing. So go straight to the photos of new with tags, find the tag, and it tells you exactly what it is. Hello. Hello. And oh. then you can sell your pants for more. Yes. All right. And last but not least is also the new with tags. Our signature organic cotton stretch jersey, $138 retail. Okay, these are a culotte. Um, what? These are, when shorts, when pants are short like this and they're very wide leg, uh -huh. it's called a culotte. Okay. And that's how I would put this in the title. I would put that it has a wide waistband. That's very helpful when you're wearing culottes because you can wear them down around your hips, which is super cool and flowy and beachy. Eileen calls them wide cropped pant that's exactly what they are and you should put that wide cropped pant but yep. most people of a certain age know these as culottes c-u-l-o-t-t-e-s okay and you have to also because some people will be okay hold on i have to say this gotta say it. what are you gonna say if you're part of the system in eileen fisher land you have clothes with tags on them. So if you wanted another color of these, you could go type in the exact title. In most people, when they're shopping for clothes, they don't do that. Right, right, right. Okay? But in this case, somebody maybe got these from Neiman's and they want more and they don't want to pay Neiman's price. So they go to eBay and they have the tag on them and they're like, all right, let me type this in. Organic cotton stretch jersey, perfect. However, some people have these and they don't have the tag already. That's why I'm saying to include the full title and then also just the rando, how a rando person would find these without remembering what it's called. Right, because like it says, these are the wide crop pant. I guarantee you they make other styles and cuts of pants in the same organic cotton stretch jersey fabric. Right. right. So that's what I'm saying. I would call it a cool lot. Yeah. Uh, if they were not wide leg, you could call it a pedal pusher. If they were like a skinny leg. Um, so just, t this is what I do. I go to Google and I just type in, I do this with every single thing we sell. So if you come to our live list at night, you can see me do it in real time. I type it in, it drives people crazy, <laughs> but 
but I type in every detail about it because I'm trying to get something to come up that is, and I have great success with it. I know it drives people crazy. Literally, I would type in Eileen Fisher, black, cropped, wide leg, wide waistband, whatever it is, viscose. Mm -hmm. I would type in what's on the tag, 90% viscose, 10% spandex, and I would hit enter. I would put that all in my Google search. (laughs) And then, but literally stuff comes up and it's like the exact thing in the stock photo. I'm like, yay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I guess this is what it is. So the moral of the story before we go over and draw the winner for today's, and we're going to go over our sales numbers. They weren't great, but we will go over those. We're one of those channels you have to watch every day because you got to keep up with what's going on. Yeah, right. The moral of the story is the more information, the more accurate information you can put in your title, your item specifics, and your description, the more you can sell these pants for. We very rarely sell anything in this mature women's category for less than $50. That's true. But if you go sort the solds by highest to lowest or lowest to highest, you will see a lot of people that sell them for $7 and $12. Yep. Also, a great way to source. Once sure, you get good it at is, it. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so mad I didn't get those new tags for 782. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's head on over to the computer and see what we made today and pick a winner. Yes! Really, picnic. You excited? It's your favorite time of day. There you go. Come on. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. So today, just keeping you updated, we sold 12 items. Two of those were to our friend Ruth, so thank you very much. Thanks, Ruth. Always appreciate the support. Uh, We made $256 in revenue, and $140 of that was profit. Okay. We're still behind on the month. Let's look at the month. Yeah, a little bit. $6,528. Dollars in profit for the month. We're trying to get to nine thousand in the next six days. We're trying to. We got a good one though in on deck. They if, just need to pay for it. Yeah, <laughs> they gotta pay for it. All right, it's time to draw a winner. Yeah, I've already loaded the comments. Look we at had you getting ready. One hundred and fourteen comments Look yesterday. That. That's amazing. Yes, our video tanked, but you guys did not tank. <laughs> All right, I have to click this star button. I get so nervous. Oh man, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Today's big winner is another oh, Karen. My Karen. What? Wait, is this a dog emoji? Looks like oh, a dog. Let's yeah. answer Karen's question. Okay. What does Karen, Karen said, "Hey, thanks for all your informative videos with the dog emoji. Love. What do you use the produce produce bags for?" Okay. Okay. We just started doing this. Yeah. Because they're cheaper and less plastic. So, and I also wanted to talk to you. Let's have a, we're going to have a business meeting right now. Okay. Should we take them out of the t-shirt bags and put them in the smaller produce bags and then reuse the t-shirt bags until they get ratty? Because I feel like that would be great. Anyway, we put the items into the produce bags before we put them into a box in case it's raining and the box leaks. And the produce bags are so much cheaper than the t-shirt bags we use, which are these ziploc bags and we used to ship in these and then we would put our bigger things like suits into um poly mailers and the poly mailers are way more expensive than the produce bags and it kind of does the same thing like the produce bags don't really rip that easily they're just thinner and i think it's better for the environment too and it's better for our bottom line that's right (laughs) so maybe we'll replace these you know take the items out of these and put them in the smaller produce bags but then that takes time and i just we're working on it. We it's are. Like a we're new trying to figure system. it out. Yeah. And if we find out something that works, we will let you know. And in the meantime, email us yeah. your address and we will send you this amazing, I'm going to pull it out right now, this amazing Java software. Yeah, look you. at that. <laughs> Thank you guys. And remember to comment below your favorite black emoji today All right. for tomorrow's winner. Yes. Thank you very much for hanging out and watching, guys. We appreciate it. 
and we'll see you at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live listing on eBay on the other channel. And if you don't know about the other channel, there's a link in the description down below of this video. Come check it out. All the black pants you can handle. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm.